This all started because of this monstera named the polar bear monstera. But we're going to get into this plant later. Today we're going to go through some of the most rare sport variegated versions of Monstera Deliciosa. Of course we're going to leverage our friend Mike at MDA1635 on Instagram. Go give him a follow. The person who posted the polar bear Monstera said it was a seed grown sport, which is really common. It's how a lot of these sport variegated Monstera come to exist. A bunch of seeds are grown out and then one or two of them out of thousands, tens of thousands, maybe millions, have a little bit of variegation in them. A little bit of genetic change occurs. This can also happen in tissue culture. But this person, who don't go and bother this person, but they are very vehemently opposed to the thought that variegated monstera cannot come from seed. Yet genetic changes often come from seed. So first up is Mike's Thai Constellation Tricolor. And apparently, as he says in this caption, some of the most rare one have sold for over $100,000, and it's named the Monstera Miracle. I kind of call it, I guess, always the tricolor Tycon. Here it's called the Tres Leches. That's another thing to remember when we're going through these. These are all just made up names. So don't get too hung up on them. Just remember that all the different varieties and colorings can occur that really you can think about. There are endless varieties, and this is the first one of, this is one of my favorites since we saw him at IAS unveil this plant. And here's the actual Tricon IRL. Mike's grabbing it. This was down in Miami last September at the Aeroid Show. So it's a really fantastic plant in person. I think they should call it the Tricon, honestly. Okay, and then I forgot the price, but I guess it was $10,000. It's such a pretty plant. And I look for other ones on Instagram, and it is a common occurrence that comes out of Thai constellation. So this isn't seed grown, I don't believe. I believe this is from the bag tissue, and you find a Aurea-like patterning in the Tycon, and that's what gives these really rare-looking plants. Here's another tricolor as a baby, and you can see the browning parts of the alvo part. It looks just like a Tycon on that lower leaf, and then you have that Aurea-like variegation. And here's another one, has that beautiful Aurea variegation, that lime coloring with the yellow patches and the alba variegation with the splotching of the Tycon. It's such a, such a pretty plant. A lot of these are coming out of Thailand. I think that's where Mike's getting a lot of his. Next up, we have Silver Sands. This one I found goes under a couple different names. Mike calls it Silver Sands. Again, these are just colloquial names people attach to them. But this is a very pretty one. It kind of reminds me of the Monstera Devil. And here's one from Laniata House. They're calling the Siam Mint, but Mike is calling his something that looks like it, the Silver Sands. And that leads us into the Siam Mint, which looks like a really yellow, like Aurea variegation of almost like the White Monster. There's another really beautiful shot of it. I think this is a really, really pretty one. Pretty close to the Devil Monster that we covered a couple weeks back. At least the, the variegation patternings. I really like this plant. And here we have Mike's Shamrock Shake. This is a really pretty one. It has really great minty, kind of green on green action going on. It's a very, very pretty plant. We can't miss Mike's Masterpiece. This is one of the most expensive variegated sport monsters there are. It's not for me because it looks really deformed and kind of unhealthy, but it definitely has very thick patterning on it and there's multiple layers of variegation. It almost looks like the plant has like an autoimmune disorder or something and the layers are like stacking on top of each other when they're not supposed to be. It's a very pretty plant and has that wobble to the leaf. Just like this plant, this is the Medusa. It's like a Tycon tricolor but has that wonky shape to the leaf. Again, not really for me, not my cup of tea, but hey, some people like it. Again, giving me those devil monster vibes of that kind of sickly pretty, but I don't know if I'd spend tens of thousands of dollars on it. This is probably my favorite one, the Monstera Deliciosa Starlight, they're calling it. The patterning on this one, I zoomed in. This is not a fake plant. I checked all of these out. These are not fake. This one is probably my favorite. There's something about the patterning that just keeps my eye hooked into it. I think they also call another version of Tycon, like the Green Snow or Snow Drift. It looks a lot like a creme brulee, honestly, but Starlight is definitely one of my favorites. Go follow Laniata House. They have some really great photos. I don't know if these are stolen photos that they're reposting. I hope that they're their own plants and photos. And there is Brandith's Monstera Thai Constellation Tricolor, a stunning specimen that he has out there in Indonesia, or I think he might be in Thailand. 
This is a super, super pretty plant. This is one that came out of the recent show in Bangkok that I actually really love. I love the coloring. I'm a sucker for the contrast of the lime green against the hunter green. This is called Monstera Electrolyte. They spell it electro, then space light. Reminds me of like Gatorade electrolyte. At least when you pee, it's like lime green. Or at least the Gatorade itself is like lime green electrolyte with a Y. But this one is a really beautiful plant and there it is on video. That's how you know it's real. It's so stunning to me. Good roots on it, good cutting. Kind of looks like Tycon-ish. Looks like it probably came out of Tycon. So you have a bunch, thousands and thousands of different tissue culture, and then some mutations occur. Plant produces a different coloring set. This also happens at seed level. I don't know why people can't grasp that genetic changes occur to all organisms when things cross. Sometimes those chromosomes and the DNA doesn't line up. I'm not a scientist, but sometimes mutations occur in seeds. And that's how Mike described how these plants come out. They come out either in seed form or in TC. There is the electrolyte again, really, really pretty plant. This one and the tricolor have to be my favorite. I mean, but also the starlight. Of course we have the mints. You guys know about those already. And we have the creme brulee, but here I'm holding the green snow, which I mentioned earlier, which is like a high variegation tycon. And then creme brulee in my other hand. I highly encourage you guys to go to IAS in 2024. I bet Mike will be there and I might be there. We'll see. But there's the Medusa I'm holding. It has the green backing on that Tycon leaf and it has that kind of twisted leaf. It's not for me. It looks sickly, but it goes for a lot of money. Here's the white lava Monstera. Again, not for me. Definitely has some sort of really odd mutation going on within the leaf and the leaf shape and the fenestrations. But these plants sell for a lot of money. See, people are into like odd shit like this. Like it's like half of a leaf. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but that plant is probably not going to thrive. And I bet they want $3,000 for that. It's cool looking, but it's going to have a tough time surviving. This is great patterning on this white lava. I will say that. And here is what Mike calls the Miami mint. Kind of looks, I don't know. All of these, you can see how they got to there genetically. You can see how they're all slightly related. You can see the mintiness of this, like the deep green and then the variegation patches look like they're being like, like brushed back like you're scrubbing some acetone on the leaves to unveil the variegation but this that's a pretty plant looks healthy looks like the leaves are fully formed looks like it would grow strong that's why i really love the tricolor tycon is it looks super healthy this one caught my eye there or mike is calling this the platinum just looks like a heavy mint i mean at a certain point they're probably so genetically closely related it's just slight difference to the eye it's like tycon versus creme brulee versus the green snow version wow so okay this is when we're going to circle back to the thumbnail that you clicked on the polar bear monstera is that real because that struck up a huge debate on facebook okay here's this plant i don't know if mike named this one but these big sectoral patches kind of looks like the monstera lava and then when it grows out it gets these huge big patches so let's go to the back to the original facebook post everyone thinks this plant can exist let's look at mike's looks pretty damn close and i zoomed in really hard on this photo and this is not photoshop this is an actual plant and you can see kind of the jungle mint of the bottom part of the leaf as well as maybe it's not jungle mint it's more classical mint mike would say it's like a monstera deliciosa sport with some mint showing through i believe but you can see the striping on the stem it's a really well taken photo and there's someone in the comments that's like it's fake you cannot grow a mutation from a seed and there's they comment to every single person that's like wow it's a beautiful blend she's like it's fake she keeps going in, it's fake and she's so strongly just keeps yelling at everyone in the comments don't go bother this person though so I looked up the person who posted it, this guy Kenneth. He tags all of his photos with Wonder Keeper. So I found him on YouTube, I found him on Instagram, I DM'd him to see if he had more videos and photos of the plant, but he hasn't responded. He doesn't show this exact one, here's the actual plant. Oh, Monstera Glacier. Monstera Glacier versus Monstera Polar Bear. Different name, same photo. And he says seed grown. This is back in 2022. I mean, it's a really beautiful photos of like flowering variegated monstera, a lot of odd sport seeds. These could be stolen photos, but it's just the point I'm trying to make is it's very possible these plants exist. As we showed with Mike's looks just like his polar bear and who cares what you name them at this point. It should just be a beautiful plant to you. Talk about a beautiful plant. 
That's the plant I want, the Tricon. If I had the five or $10,000, this is fun virtual shopping because I can't afford any of this shit right now. Here's another seed sport that Kenneth is growing, but I did my due diligence on him. He's real. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, click the like button down below and consider subscribing since we make one video about plants every week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.